All right, good morning, good morning, everyone. Well, we had a great night, so after Dante's Point, we, the sun went down and we went and found some camping here in Death Valley National Park. Um, lots of dispersed camping. There was a lot of off-road looking vehicles with rooftop tents and um, just vehicles and trucks that brought tents with them to do some camping out here. Um, so we had some neighbors over yonder that's some pretty sweet rigs and so we we drove about eight miles on this road i don't actually know exactly where it is because megan was driving last night but uh we were all set up here us and the gang And uh, so this morning we're packing up, but last night we had a nice campfire and all of our tents set up and it was a good time. And so now we're making a little coffee, of course, and then putting up all the other tents. And then Leah's brothers slept in the back of the Toyota. <laughs> they said it was the best night's sleep of their life. <laughs> Uh, and of course, we were up in our rooftop tent, which we already packed away this morning before the sun could come up. But I mean, look at this sunrise. Another fun thing we tried was using some of our levelers. Um, so you can see they're just your typical RV levelers to kind of level our Subaru before we set up the tent. Usually we're on pretty level surface it's not too bad but sometimes if that tents like angled it's just not the best night's sleep so I went ahead and brought those along just to kind of get our tires up a little bit higher and then plenty of big rocks out here in Death Valley so it was definitely easy to to chalk our tires one bad thing we have discovered is that our Subaru liftgate shocks little hydraulics here are not working um, they're only working when it's kind of warm outside, so not working in the cold. So I need to replace those. So this whole weekend has been using a camp chair to hold up our lift gate. So not the best. Have anything to say to the peoples? Good morning. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Megan hasn't had her coffee yet, so I just want to steer clear of her. So today we're planning on going to the sand dunes yes. and the mosaics. Uh, so those two places here in Death Valley. And then we thought about going up to Racetrack. That's the one where the rocks are sliding across the earth, but no one's moving them. And it's kind of blowing our mind. Um, but it's pretty far away. It's about 70 miles. So Death Valley is the biggest national park um, here in the United States, here in the lower 48. And so uh, it, it takes a while to get from end to end. And so I don't think we're going to make that trip because it would be, you know, a good ways there. And then we'd have to backtrack. I think we're going to see those two things, the sand dunes and the mosaics. And then I think we're going to head out of the park to this gold strike hike, a hike through slot canyons down to this hot spring, which sounds really great right now because it is a little chilly out. All right, I guess I'll go back to helping Megan. Yeah. We're just over here getting the camp all put up. Ryan has to talk to you. <laughs> oh, look, it's safe. Oh, you fixed it. It won't stay for long.
there is sand as far as the eye can well actually you can see where it stops but there's a lot of sand here we did not bring any sand boards to you know snowboard down the dunes but that'd be a whole lot of fun oh that's really pretty my shoes already have at least five at least seven pounds of sand in them at least seven and we've rediscovered that walking in sand is difficult it's a good calf workout we've seen lots of socks and shoes out here for free to, for the taking just laying around so you know grab yours <laughs> you know if this sand was like slightly warmed by the sun it'd be fun to walk barefoot oh yeah but we're here in the morning in the winter it's a little chilly Whoa. We've been to quite a few sand dunes, haven't we? We do. We frequent sand dunes often. Our first one was the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado, mm -hmm. and that was mind-blowing. And every time we go to a sand dune, it's mind-blowing. We've also seen some dunes up in Michigan, and now here yeah. in California. Dunes everywhere. Dunes, dunes, dunes. But they're really neat, fun to play in. Just kind mm -hmm. of a, just a different terrain again that just kind of is crazy. Need to get a dune buggy. Oh yeah. We haven't done that yet. Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe the next dunes. We were like, uh, should we go? No, it's too far. <laughs> get to those big ones. I know, I go those up one little hill and I'm like. Right there. Very cool part of Death Valley National Park. It's just crazy how many different terrains we've been able to see in this one national park. And that's probably their biggest selling point, I would say, here at Death Valley. Being able to go to the salt flats, to these sand dunes, to going up on the mountain and looking over the big valley. Uh, these rocks and the different colored rocks at the artisan's palette. It's just been really amazing to see and touch and feel. And that's the best part about national parks is getting to explore them and explore them with friends and family. So we're heading up on the Mosaic Canyon hike. You hike along a fault line, they say, so where a fault is, it's about a half mile hike and you get up to the Narrows, uh, kind of like a slot canyon. And supposedly there at the fault, you can see um, some exposed marble. So it should be pretty cool. They also said that you can keep hiking it like for another two miles, really get back in there. And then there is a dry waterfall. Should be a lot of fun. So we've gotten to some of the narrower parts where you can kind of see the marble into the rocks. This canyon is really cool. Look at that kind of striated marble wave of the trail right behind me. That is really cool. And we're just in. I don't even know if we've gotten to like the half mile part. Really cool. Really fun walls to jump across too. <laughs> even though it's a little dangerous. Hopping around, climbing on all these a lot of fun. All right, guys, that's it from us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one of our videos. Um, Death Valley was really cool. It was a different type of national park. It kind of lumps in there with Joshua Tree, just kind of this desert scene. Yes. Um, but definitely, if you're in the area, go check it out. All the different terrains is really cool to learn about and see. Yeah, for sure. Just 
Make sure you're not there in the summer. That's yes. our one tip. <laughs> we were at Death Valley in January. And that's probably the best time to be there. Yes. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, see ya. See ya.